if I just keep doing it and keep doing it, that means... That's not a mistake, that's it. a habit. Tonight, Tonight on, on with Warren and Erica. Erica. There is a point. There is a point, there's always a point. Where, you know... When there's no, I think when there's no respect, when there's no consideration, when there's no remorse, there's no answers, and you just have to deal with it. Well, there's no, there's no 180. The thing is, when you forgive me and I accept the forgiveness, there has to be a, a 180. I gotta turn away from what I was doing and not do it no more. Mm -hmm. If I just keep doing it and keep doing it, that means one. That's not a mistake. That's a habit. I, I have not. I have not stopped uh, and, and really taken the, the, I guess, taken into account the cost of what it's going to do to my marriage, which means I don't even care. And you let shouldn't. me say, men aren't the only one that cheat. Like, I think we give guys a hard time. There's a bunch of women that cheat. Y'all just cheat quieter and it's more so, discreet. so much better at it than we are. Like, nobody knows, and y'all be having your boo thing right next to you, and it's just... Guys, you'll never know. If she want to cheat on you, you will never know. Unless she tell you. <laughs> That's it. You would tell me? Absolutely. I wouldn't do it. If you did it, would you tell me? Absolutely. I would. I think people need to look at their premarital patterns. You have a lot of sexual inventory in your head. Who you slept with, what you've seen, what you've taken in, what movies you like, what videos you enjoy, what booties you've seen bouncing. How many things do you have in your head? And so you go into a relationship, and sometimes the person that you love has to compete with everything in here, and it's kind of unfair. Because maybe you was with somebody at 19, it blew your mind, but you're 27, and so now you're trying to get the, the brother Johnny out your mind, but you over here with Sam, and you just conflicted. There's something called soul ties. Are these guys like um, 70 These are years fictitious, old? fictitious names. Sam and Johnny? There's those some, are, those there's are some, old men. You know what I'm trying to say. What you want to say, Deontay? Yeah, DeAndre, <laughs> Deontay. Stop. Rashawn. You don't know if there's somebody with that name. No offense to anyone. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, when you have all this stuff that you haven't dealt with, and you just think putting a ring on and having a beautiful wedding with a bunch of people giving you gifts is gonna change your, your heart, your activity, it's not gonna happen. Not if that's been your regular practice. Not if you've been in, in entertained by a lot of things and a lot of people. You have to kind of shut that down and really kind of do some soul checks. Sex is spiritual. It's connecting. Mm. And sometimes you don't know who or what you're connecting with and you're trying to figure out why is my spouse acting so different? It's because they got a bunch of other stuff and people's demons and spirits soul inside ties. of them. Soul ties. You got to work on them soul ties before you move forward. We're the Campbells. Tuesdays at 8 on TV One.